Hey everyone! In this series, we're gonna model Mario from Mario Odyssey, while attempting to stay as true as possible to the official Mario model. Except his textures. Maybe a couple other things. I tried though, I promise. If you want to set up your workspace like I'm going to, put your cursor in this upper corner of the 3D viewport until it becomes a cross and drag out a second 3D viewport window. Hit numpad 5 to enter orthographic view, hit numpad 1 to go into front view. In the second window, hit numpad 3 to go into right view. Select the cube and tab into edit mode. Add a subdivision modifier. Position this cube to become Mario's head. Apply the subdivision modifier, select and delete half of this cube. Add a mirror modifier and another subdivision modifier. Now we're just gonna shimmy and move stuff around to make the shape roughly match the dimensions of Mario's head in the reference. This is looking pretty close, so let's add his mouth. In face select, select this face. Hit I and B to inset a face along the mirrored edge, scale this face down. Move these new vertices around to line them up with where his mouth is located. Select these back vertices and hide them with H for now. Select this mouth face and extrude inwards. The subdivision modifier is extremely useful, but it can take some time to get used to working with. As you add and move geometry around, the neighboring vertices also shift, so there's a lot of repositioning, especially if you have the on cage option enabled. So let's get our mouth back into position. When that's in a good place, select this face and hit I to inset. Hit B if necessary to get these new faces to not merge along the mirrored line. In vertex select, reposition these vertices to roughly line up with where the eyes are. Be careful near the center, it might help to disable clipping on the mirror modifier for the time being. Now let's add a spot for the nose. Select this vertex. I accidentally duplicated it, but it's about where I want the bottom of the nose to be, so I left it as a guide. So select this vertex again, use the bevel tool by hitting Ctrl B, now hit V to enable beveling on a vertex. Select this bottom vertex and this stray one, hit M and select Merge at last. Enable clipping and move things around in both views. Here you can see the actual position of my vertices. Shimmy some stuff around! With face select active, select these faces and delete them with X. Do some more shimmying. This is looking good for now, so unhide with Alt H. Here's how it looks without the cage enabled, if you need help getting things into position. The mouth is going to need space for teeth and other stuff, so add an edge loop up here. Hide these vertices for now, reposition these vertices as needed. This looks like a good starting point, so let's apply our modifiers from top to bottom. In vertex select, box select half of these faces and delete them. Add a mirror modifier. Add a subdivision modifier. Select this vertex and delete it. Select the back of the head and delete it as well. Who needs a full head? Not me. Select and hide the inner mouth stuff. Make sure clipping is enabled and start moving stuff around. Might be easier to position stuff with different subdivision settings. Cut an edge loop between his eyes with the knife tool. Add an edge loop in here with Ctrl R. Move stuff around a bit to shape his eyes and nose. Now work on the mouth. Try and smooth it all out. These two vertices should be moved back to give his chin some shape. As you're moving stuff around, make sure to check how it looks with the subdivision modifier active in edit mode. Add an edge loop around his mouth here with Ctrl R. Move stuff around and add an edge loop here. Keep shaping on the eyes and add an edge loop here. Move some stuff around. Select and delete this edge. Move some of these vertices forward on the Y axis. Select and delete these vertices. We don't need them. Reshape the top of his head. And anything else that needs some fine tuning. Apply the modifiers from top to bottom. Select and delete half of the face, add a mirror modifier. Edge slide some stuff around, select and dissolve this edge. Shift stuff around and sort of flatten out this back edge of vertices. Circle select these vertices, extrude back a set of faces. Position them like this. Select this edge and extrude it up. Scale slightly. Create a face here and cut with the knife tool like this. Move stuff around, extrude out this vertex and create another face here. Shimmy! Slide this vertex on the x-axis slightly and this one out. Fix anything that looks out of place to you. Smooth out his forehead. We've got an end gun right here that I forgot about. 
I fixed it significantly later on. Go ahead and just add an edge here if you want. And his face is mostly done. Name this object something appropriate, perhaps face. And let's make a nose. Add a cube, position and scale it. Add an edge loop down the middle. And one here. Select this side and delete it. Add a mirror modifier. Add a subdivision modifier. Add a few more edge loops here. You can add multiple at the same time by scrolling the mouse wheel. Select these vertices and scale them down. Select these three vertices and move them in. Select these two and scale along the Z axis. Keep moving stuff around to match this nose to the reference. Select and delete this back middle vertex. Alt select this rear edge loop and scale it down. Keep moving stuff around in an attempt to match the reference. Circle select these three vertices and scale them by zero on the Y axis. Move them into position as well as these vertices. Select these upper vertices and move them in. Same with these. Smooth out anything that's way out of place. And move the back vertices away from the face a bit. Get these all smoothed out one more time and try to get everything uniformly shaped. I may have been overly particular about his nose shape, but sometimes as a 3D modeler, you can't help yourself. Name this object a nose guide because we aren't gonna actually use it as his nose. Select all and shade smooth. This will show you if anything is lumpy. Do your best to unlumpify. If you're anything like me, you may be stuck here improving his nose for quite a while. Go into the head object and alt select this edge loop. Duplicate with shift D, separate with P. Select this new object in object mode. Tab into edit mode. Add a 28 vertex circle. Position and scale it. Extrude and scale faces forward, match them to both references. Delete half of this nose object and mirror it. Select the nose object and shift select this edge loop object. Join them together into one object with control J. Select both of these edge loops, hit F3 and search for bridge edge loops. I have this option set to my favorites menu since I use it so often. Select and edge slide these vertices to smooth everything out. We're now gonna snap these vertices to our guide. Enable snapping to faces, select and snap groups of vertices to the guide. Make sure the nose guide is enabled in the outliner. It might be easier to do this in solid view. Extrude out a vertex here and make a face. Do the same here. Create faces here. Keep snapping to the guide. Fill in the front with faces. It's pretty easy to select the wrong vertices and create weird faces. They're easy enough to delete and fix though. Snap everything to the guide. Select all and shade smooth. And there we go. Sometimes faces will end up with this sort of thing going on. In those cases, select the two offending vertices and hit J. I think this looks pretty good. Let's make a tongue. Shift A, add a cube. In edit mode, scale down. Add an edge loop here. Select these back vertices and scale on the Z axis. Rotate in position like so. Add a subdivision and a mirror modifier. Make sure the mirror modifier is in the first position. Enable clipping and add an edge loop down the middle of the tongue. Select and delete one half. Grab these two vertices and move them inwards. Move stuff around and add an edge loop here. Add another edge loop here. Move stuff around. Add an edge loop around the side. Edge slide and position these vertices. Select all and shade smooth. Grab these vertices and move them down slightly. Apply the mirror modifier. Scale down. Hit end to open up the side panel. In object mode, change the X location to zero. Position and scale the tongue to fit his mouth. Name this object and create a new archive collection. Drop the nose guide in the new collection. Select the Mario collection, add a 32 vertex circle with shift A. Position and scout somewhere out of the way. Select all and set cursor to selected with shift S. Extrude and scale. Select and delete half. Select these back vertices and move them back on the Y axis. Select all and extrude up. Position these about teeth level. Add an edge loop here. Select and delete these two faces. Add an edge loop here. Select and delete these top faces. Alt select this outer edge loop and dissolve it. Select this other edge loop and dissolve it too. Set your pivot point to 3D cursor and scale down. Add an edge loop here and here. Select these bottom vertices and pull down slightly. Move the top up a little. In top view, select all and duplicate with shift D. 
Scale down on the Y axis. Select these back vertices and move them back. Grab a vertex on this set of teeth, hit Ctrl L to select all linked, scale by negative one on the Z axis. Grab and pull down. Scale a little bit on the Y axis. Now scale and position these teeth, teeth, his teeth in his mouth. <laughs> Select this edge loop and hide it with H. Turn on proportional editing and enable connected only. Now shape the inside of his mouth to fit his teeth. Grab the tongue and fit it in between the teeth as well. The mouth looks pretty good, so let's quickly make an eye. Alt select this edge loop, duplicate with Shift D, separate with P. In object mode, select the new eye object. Hit F3 and search for grid fill. The defaults seem to work. If yours looks different, my settings are a span of 6 and an offset of 0. Select these outer vertices and hide them. Select this middle vertex and move forward with proportional editing turned on. Alt H to unhide. Select all and shade smooth. Select this outer edge loop, extrude and scale. Name this object to eyes or, you know, whatever. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave us a like or a comment. If you'd like to help us grow, share our video. Join us next time when we turn our creepy clown Mario into a creepy clown Mario with a mustache, as well as a couple other things. Stay safe, love you, goodbye!